Hi everyone, I'm Maddie. Hey, I'm Greg, and we want to show you how to make a fruit salad solar system where all of the planets, all the fruits, are the right size compared to each other. But first, let's familiarise ourselves with the planets. They all orbit, they move around a central star, the Sun. Hmm. Now here we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. That was some great pointing. Hang on, where <laughs> am I? There. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. But you look at that picture and all the planets are the same size. Yeah. The planets in the solar system are not all the same size. Okay. Oh, you've got a clever way to remember these. I do. I was taught at school my... My very easy method just speeds up naming. My very easy method just speeds up naming. Okay. Uh, an alternative one you could use is my very excellent mum just served us nachos. Well, I definitely prefer yours. So. Come up with one yourself as well. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at actually how big these planets are okay. in comparison to each other using fruit. All right, then. Let's start with our home planet then, planet Earth. What fruit is that going to be? Okay. Earth is going to be... A, a raspberry. raspberry. Yeah, okay. okay, so Earth doesn't look like a raspberry. Earth is a ball, a sphere, mm -hmm. um, a little bit squashed sphere, but the raspberry works perfectly for the maths. Okay, so there we go. Earth All right, then. is a raspberry. Okay, well, if Earth is a raspberry, what about our neighbouring planets, Venus and Mars? Let's go for Venus first. So right. Venus, very similar size to Earth, just a little bit smaller. So we're going to go for another raspberry. Gotcha. There All you right. go. There's its Thank label, uh, which therefore means Mars, our Ooh. other neighbour. And um, Mars is smaller than Earth and Venus. Uh, and actually, run the numbers, you get a blueberry. Lovely. Yes. Okay, so we could do our smallest planet now. Um, it's another one of the four rocky planets, and that's Mercury. What's yes. that going to be? So, smallest planet, as you say, in the mm -hmm. solar system. For that, I've got a nut. Oh, okay. Yeah, you Lovely. go. Oh, our Earth's falling over. Oops, excuse oh. me. Okay, the nut's just there. There you go. So we can put that down there. So as Maddie said, these are the four innermost planets, the mm -hmm. four rocky planets. And let's have a think whether these would be a good place for us to visit on mission space. Okay, if we if we were going on a mission to space. Yeah, yeah. What, what do okay. we think? All right. Um, so well, Mercury is the closest to the sun. Okay, so Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, so it's extremely hot. Probably best not for us not to visit there. No. Also, it's really hot when the sun's on it during the day. When it rotates and the sun's not on it, that's night time, okay. right? Very, very cold. Okay. So extreme temperature is not a good place. All right, then. Um, Venus, although it's not the planet closest to the sun, it's actually the hottest. And that's because it has a thick atmosphere, so all of that heat is trapped inside. Yeah, very, very hot, mm -hmm. and actually hot enough to melt lead. Okay. Probably not a good place no, to go. let's not go there. No, let's not go to um, Venus. But then we do have Mars. So, firstly, Mars as a blueberry, probably should have done a redberry or a red currant or something, because Mars is the red planet. It looks red because uh, of rust, mm -hmm. actually, uh, all over its surface, rusty iron. Um it does have water on Mars, though. It has some water. There is water, although that water is trapped as ice in the dirt and at the poles, just like we have here on Earth. So maybe a bit of oxygen there as well. Thin atmosphere, <laughs> bit of oxygen, bit of water vapour. Mm -hmm. Quite a good shout. All right, All right so then. that is the innermost four rocky planets. What about the gas giants? I don't have any gas-based uh, fruit, so they're all going to be solid fruit. I hope you'll All forgive right. me. Next up is Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay, <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> Here we go. Is Jupiter? In. Jupiter is the size of a watermelon. Stay there. It is enormous compared to the other planets. Wow. Wowee. That's incredible. Jupiter. <laughs> so Jupiter is a big load of gas, essentially mm -hmm. kind of like storming round. And talking of storms, mm -hmm. there's a, a giant red spot yeah. on the planet. What is that? Well, it's actually a storm that's been going on Jupiter for over 150 years. Yeah. Uh, but it's so big, it would actually fit planet Earth inside it two times. Okay, there you go. I'm sticking How on amazing. the great red spot. Oh, no. Gosh, Jupiter is oh, massive. No. There okay, we go. all right. So next up is oh. Saturn. And here All right. comes Saturn. Saturn is a melon. It's also really big. I didn't think Saturn was that big. Technically, 
it would be about a centimetre wider, but this okay. is the best I could do. Oh, if anyone is um, a massive nerd like me, then uh, I'll put a link to the calculator that allows you to make your own, scale up your own solar okay. system planets. And of course, okay. Saturn already has uh, the rings on it. Um, but actually, those rings aren't solid rings. Those are bits of dust, rock and ice that are whizzing around the planet. Uh, but they're going so fast, they look like solid rings. And Saturn is not the only planet to have rings. All four four of the gas giants have rings. Ah. Good fact, right? So let's add the other two gas giants right All now. Right then. So we've got Uranus and yep. we have Neptune. Uranus so Uranus and... there is being represented by an apple. Uranus and Neptune. Let's just show you those. There Lovely. they are. Whoa! Don't Jupiter. you go anywhere, Jupiter. Jupiter keeps wanting to run off. Now, really cool fact about Uranus. Um, actually, it doesn't rotate like this way round so it doesn't spin like that like most planets do instead it spins sideways Whoa. so i need cool to put fact. that sideways if you can if it uranus. will stay there uh, it's a really long way away from the sun as well so we so uranus if we were to visit uranus it would probably be a bit too cold for us <laughs> and then we've got Neptune is the orange, which is a little bit smaller than Uranus, right? Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. But Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun, so it is extremely cold. It is also very, very windy as right. well. Yeah, okay. there are crazy fast winds that whip frozen methane all over the planet's surface. So uh, very cold, very cold and windy not great places to but be. But what we've done, you have now recreated our solar system using fruit. Yeah. We have all of our planets, but we're missing something, and that is the sun. Yes. Now, how big do you think the sun would be if it was to scale to the planets? It would be. Take the end of this. Yeah. Uh, keep going, 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 what? keep going, keep going, stop. This big. As big, yeah, look at that. Look, wow. If I take us, it's as big as the whole screen. <laughs> wow, that is, that's incredible. That's how big the sun is. So there you go. That is our solar system to scale. No! <laughs> <laughs> Using fruit. <laughs> Give it a go yourself. Let us know how you get on. As always, stay curious. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.